Yaho YouTube, I am Super Yankee. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Midland Hostel. Alrighty YouTube. One of the reasons I chose this hostel is because it was on the top 10 hostel lists over here in Romania and it was one of the only ones that was not fully booked. Nine euros a night. I don't know about you, nine euros a night is like, what's it called, seven dollars a night. That is phenomenal for a hostel. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty urbanly located. We have a nice neighborhood, a nice Romanian neighborhood, and the architecture, like the buildings, they look so different. There's just a whole feel here that's really, really Romania. Right over there, we have a really, really, really cool supermarket. I've been there like three times already. I need to stop wasting my money and start buying things that are actually gonna help me survive. Look, it's Romania. We have a police box that's right across the street. If you look up over there, we can see we have a nice little viewing point from our hostel where people can go and chill out. We saw some um, some demonstrators earlier, which was really cool. That was cool, man. I waved I waved at that guy, and he did, he just looked at me with a straight face. Oh, they're so cool in Romania. Ah, oh, so cool. Anyway, let's go in and check it out. So price is good, availability is good. Let's see how the hostel is itself. Something I had to learn the hard way. Oh is that when you go inside, there's a lock code. And the lock code isn't entered on the front keypad where you would think it would be. It's not entered like this, it's actually entered in the back. In the back. So, let's do this. And just like that, YouTube, we managed to crack the secret code. I'm telling you, it's looking pretty. I don't know if Romania is a first world country, a third world country, or a second world country. You don't hear much about second world countries. But it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty Romania. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go up these stairs. What game are they playing? I have no idea. But this is it? They have a really good sense for Christmas over here in Romania as well, too. I'm not going to lie. The kitchen is over here where that little terrace is. They have some appliances in which you can use. It really is like a shared living room. You have your fridges for your food. And, um, yeah. I really like this. Whenever I see like a big map of the world, I always want to buy one because I have an interest in traveling around the world. And actually I have. Look, so I've been to Miami. I've been to Spain. And I've been to Japan. That's literally a whole lap around the world, YouTube. That's literally a whole lap around the world, which is really cool. Especially since I flew from Miami over to Japan. And then I flew from Miami over to Spain. So I've definitely taken a whole lap around the world before. And probably not like not like a circular lap, but like a lap lap. You know what I mean? Get Yankee. I will take a full lap, like a circular lap, when I fly from Madrid to Japan. Get Yankee. Just a nice little addition that they have over here. They got those free towels over there, they got the bathrooms and the places to stay. It's really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. Not really much to say about this hostel. I mean, it's a hostel. If you need a place to stay and you want to interact with people, I mean, come here, but you're not going to get like a family cuisine dish or like the really Romanian culture introduction. However, if you're looking for an economical place to stay while you're in Bucharest, I recommend the Midlander Hostel. Yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.